Hello guys, I had to turn that volume down for me, but listen, this is a very special video. The genuine reaction video I was trying to record actually didn't, like, didn't fully record, so it just feels bad, but this is why I was so excited. We're gonna pop off, not with test, um, I have a test. Uh, character that I'm trying to make so that as soon as I exit the prison, I have someone to play at. So we're going to look back into that later. But, um, because I do want to start a playthrough with this, because it looks like it's pretty stable, but this was important. It was, it was this. This is the original Xbox 360 save that I had five years ago. His name is Tardo. That's the character's name. And although this is not going to be the genuine reaction to when I first got the game uh, to work finally with the save, um, the amount of memories that it brought me was just second to none. It was honestly second. Um, Greetings. This game has so many things wrong with it. Mate. And not only does it have a lot of things wrong with it, but it had so much good in it that I think that's what made this game so much fun to come back to. So before we left, Hello, um, I wanted to quickly load up a, load up the cells because the thing that I was really worried about was the compatibility with the game um, as soon as you start. So um, what we're going to quickly do actually is load up a save in my Imperial house down by the waterfront. Um, fully furnished. I mean, it's, it's a thieves' den. Not gonna lie, but this was my this this right here. These three chests, actually, including that fourth chest, are what shows up really for this game and how much I play. Skills don't matter. I mean, I'm only level 36. Made a warrior class that I don't even use one of the skills alteration. I've only mastered three skills. Um, besides that, like. That's pretty much it for my character. He's done so much. Close 23 Oblivion Gates before the Oblivion Crisis ended. So he's been to Oblivion here and back 23 times. Not only that, I finished the Knights of the Nine DLC, the main storyline, and I've also finished um, a few of the other DLCs. I mean, um, as you saw there, I don't have Frost Craig Manor and all that other stuff on the Xbox. But, <clears throat> give or take, I've done most of the game i've finished most of the game there is 39 active quests i haven't uh finished um uh shimmering isles i have not i finished the arena um again um finished the main story um the thieves guild i haven't finished um you cannot i can't continue in the brotherhood anymore because i actually killed lucius um, or Lucien or something, so I killed him, so I actually have no communication with the Dark Brotherhood yet, so that quest is dead. Um, Champion of Cyrodiil, all that kind of stuff. So I've done quite a bit, I've done quite a bit before doing this uh, conversion here. Uh, if you, anyone wants a tutorial on this, I'd be really willy, uh, I would really willy, I would really be up to the task of uploading a video of that. Um, for anyone who comments that they want it or whatever, I'll do it uh, as an updated thing. And nothing's changed it's the exact same way, but because the programs have been updated, maybe a little. Um, yeah. So, like, skills don't matter. What really matters is what you own. And oh boy, I own a lot. So if we want to really prove it, I have a keychain mod just so that we don't overbloat the system item and oh boy do i have a lot of them. so i guess the keychain does not show up oh it does this i think is the not the keychain there it is here we go that's what happens if i open up the keychain all of this and imagine that as a list and imagine that without the dark ui and on an Xbox 360. <laughs> oh my gosh, trying to open up this inventory was so hard back then. 
It was such a it was such a blast. There's are all the keys. All the places I've been, all the places that you needed a key for. It's pretty great. Um but this cupboard. It's all ingredients and a few uh, mainly like drinks and stuff. Some miscellaneous items in here, but nothing of importance. That really shows for what I've done. Um and Tardo's legacy here. As you can see nothing special. Over here is all the enchanted items. Um, as in every enchanted item I've ever found or crafted. Uh, with a sigil stone at the enchanting table, uh, on my ways in and out of oblivion, um, throughout the world. Over here is a chest full of, um, I think it was the apparatus uh, for chemistry, um, or alchemy, I mean, um, alchemy um, apparatus, uh, books and scrolls. Um, extra lockpicks, Barla stones, all that kind of stuff, because since the duplication glitch worked on the Xbox 360, uh, also potions, I abused the frick out of it. That's how I got lots of my gold, lots of my everything. So, um, all of that is here, as you can see. Scrolls. Oh my god, all the book. All the books. Scrolls. <laughs> then there's some keys. I didn't want to carry any more keys. That was the reason why. Um, sigil stones, of course. There's only 19, I believe, if I counted correctly the last time. And there's some soul gems, and I can't believe I was able to actually dupe Azura's star as well. That was actually a funny So, um, yeah. There's Amber here. Um, Iliad statues. And also, the Mandus ore. So, the Mandus ore and the Amber. I keep extra of this if I wanted to create the armor. That was the reason why. Repair hammers just in case if they broke, but since I'm a master, at uh, repairing now, um, I don't really need these many repair hammers. Um, also lockpicks, because that was a concern before, but my security skill is so good and I have the skeleton key now that I honestly don't really need it. In this drawer is everything that's unenchanted, but some stuff that were actually very important. Um, things I actually had for like a build. There's a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff so i hope if anything this shows for the amount of hours spent i slept for almost 280 something days so that's almost equivalent to a year in terms of our times so at 280 102 quests have been completed the amount of level ups and stuff all this kind of stuff like this is nostalgia for me again i was really sad that i wasn't able to uh fully show you guys um my initial reaction because i was swearing so much because this was the bomb this was the this was whack man i can't believe that it all worked the game runs pretty smooth this is a very um this is a very balanced build of oblivion modded and that was the thing too that i was concerned about was that this was a modded game i'm um, keep in mind i modded this game so all, of course that's the reason why everything looks so different why everything looks so I guess you can say a little bit more modern to an extent. I mean, there's some there's some areas here and there that still reminds you of Oblivion, whether or not it's the size of this or the posters, um, uh, you know, like there's there's nothing that you can really truly change about Oblivion at this point. Oblivion is just Oblivion; it just stays the same um, throughout the years. But has it really aged? Um, it's aged quite a bit. Game mechanics. All that kind of stuff, of course, but I think that's what really makes Oblivion great. And that's just a very overgeneralized statement. But again, this was just a nostalgia video to upload, just to show that, you know, um, it works still. You wanna, you still have a very old level 44 character in your uh, Xbox 360 somewhere. Pop him off in a PC and just do all the extra stuff you haven't done yet. I mean, this character has a lot of life in him. He hasn't finished um, all this. Was it he hasn't finished all the extra quests. I still have 30, 39 quests to complete. Not only that, he has a lot of life in his progression because all these skills are not <laughs> not maximized yet. Except for security somehow. I can't believe that. Um, <clears throat> not only that, as you can see, my major skills are still not mastered. So that means I still have a lot to do really awesome. I'm really happy. Um, 
that I cheat do anything in this game besides in-game bug fix uh, bugs okay that is what I do not consider cheating that is all I've ever done in this game and that was on the Xbox as well okay so it's pretty insane that I was able to you know get that far um, I don't know where we should go let's visit an oblivion gate why not in skin grad so yeah it's really great um there's a few weird quirks in this game still uh, that I have to fix up, but besides that, um, I'll be hitting 30 FPS, but watching the test video that had no audio, because that was the reason why I can't upload. Um, it, the game looked pretty smooth. It's a little bit downscaled, so I'm very sorry, but if I do upload a playthrough play series of Oblivion, I'm willing to do it. I would be willing to do it. That is a gate of Oblivion that has been closed. In a grave. That's a little bit sad. Honestly. I'm surprised that the tombstones are not the high res one. That's okay. You can't can't wish for everything, I guess. Yeah, that's a gate to oblivion. Just insane. I just cannot believe that I was truly able to get him back. To bring back my my favorite character, honestly. It's just insane. Man, I, I still, I'm, I'm still breath. Breath taken, man. Look at that, look at that wandering. Oh my god. It's just... And that's also overpowered, man. Overpowered character. A little bit overskilled. I thought we were entering combat. The sun behind us, the god race through the trees and everything. Like, I can't wait to do a playthrough. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope this wasn't over 10 minutes. If it was, I'm sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, that's a bear. Let's just attack the bear. Um, this is on 45% difficulty. So this is, I find this to be a very... Oh. oh, no, no, no. No, 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 don't, don't attack me. All right. Uh, BC. You know what? We are not wearing any heavy armor. I don't know what just happened, but I, I just effed up real bad. I effed up. That the best you can do? It is. Yeah. He did. Yeah. And she did. Okay, anyways, I'm done. Oh my god. Oh, shoot.